All right, today we're going to be breaking down a bunch of defensive rounds that we had in one map versus Boston on Hotel. I really want to talk about the variety uh, that defense could have on this map and just give you guys some ideas and some thought processes uh, that might have been going through the players' minds and give you some comps to go with that and just basically go through every defense as if it were like a VOD review. So let's get right into it. Yeah, yeah, here, I, I mean, I, we could actually... Uh, mid? Uh, you, no, no, yeah, let's do middle. Oh, we can save our bed. nades for bomb. Low bed? Okay, yeah, actually, Brennan, yeah, 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 Brennan, 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 somebody, somebody, yeah, somebody, somebody go bottom mid, go bottom bed, go bottom bed, yeah, well, I'll go bottom bed, yeah, yeah, and then Brennan, Brennan, fast shot middle, I don't, I don't like, think they're gonna chow mid, but no, right, go remember, they, they don't have daddy, they don't have daddy for sure, remember, all right, so we're going into round one, as you guys heard in the comms, we were gonna play mid in this round, a lot of teams ended up playing a lot of defensive rounds through mid, it was just uh, a lot of map control that you can create, uh, if you just stacked mid on defense, because not only did you have the option to basically fully stop A as well as take control of this map mid, uh, but you could also flank uh, to either site um, based on what the offense was doing through that. So taking this type of map control mid uh, was something a lot of teams would do. And uh, it was a really effective way of actually gaining map positioning there. So as you can see here, we'll fast forward the round. And this is what we wanted to do on our, our mid hit here. So it's basically just an A counter because what we're gonna be doing is taking this mid control, but having two people double child across here. So anyone that might be going to try and plant or crossing over to glass stairs. I mentioned that in a previous video, we had at least two guys watching it at the same time. Uh, we had, uh, I believe it was Ant here. Yeah, Ant bottom bed uh, also helping that out. And then we have Dan, who's basically the crux of the setup because he needs to basically cover our backs by watching dubs and single here in case anyone who might overextend on the offensive side and maybe try and kill Brandon here or anyone who might overextend on the dub side and try and kill uh, Brandon here as well. So his positioning was, was really important for us there by holding this down and making sure that our pinch was covered. So really the only big opening that was here for us that could have really been detrimental was if they initially uh, went straight to rugs and tried to pinch us this way. They would have got a free two piece, maybe even a three piece on uh, Kyler here, but we were just playing the timing. So I believe Dan ends up trying to look at all three of these at one point. Uh, we, we just know that there is a timing where they could do that. But as you can see, he backs up a little bit here just in case that were to have happened and, and is now playing this little window here. So it's possible, but it was very unlikely for them to hit it really fast like that. But once we saw nothing, A, he does go back and make sure that that's covered. So we have a pretty nice setup here. We're just waiting for them to make some sort of move. Unfortunately, Ant does get picked here. He just didn't uh, see that he was at this angle. I believe he checked uh, this top uh, God box heady, but unfortunately he had moved right at that exact moment. So pretty bad timing that Ant gets there. He get, dies for free pretty much. And now from this, we have one less person towards A and we still don't have any information on anywhere else on the, the map. So as you can see, Kremp is gonna try and make uh, some activations here mid. He sees Brandon, they're trying to fight with each other. He actually does win that gunfight on Brandon. And since Dan moved back, he doesn't have that extra set of eyes on dubs there either. So it was on basically Brandon to, to watch that at that point because he didn't have anyone helping over him as Dan backed up because Dan had to make sure that this pinch was now being covered. Unfortunately, he does end up losing uh, this gunfight to Nero. That's just a, a sub versus AR diff right there. And then it's uh, basically a 4v1. Kyler is uh, not gonna be winning this round. So unfortunately, it doesn't work for us. And it was because of that timing that Ann had towards A and because they were playing a spread on offense, it was just so hard for us to get info and they were just able to uh, collapse on our setup once they got out of that initial gunfight. So moving on to the next round. Do a fucking counter A. I'm going to go top that bed, all right? All right, listen, Brittany, he plays ball, you're in. That's what yeah, we're yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fucking yeah. shit, then. Yeah. 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 Listen, Dan, you yeah. 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 Nade.Heady and then, uh, Anna, you guys have me Yeah, yeah, I hear they're coming. I hear you coming. Yo, I have Daddy. I have Daddy this round as well. All right, Kyler, you should try the guy from the bed. You want to try from the bed or Right away? Whatever, yeah, yeah. Um, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm now free low. Yeah, they didn't the last time, so. Yeah. So next defense, what we're trying to do here is a full A counter. So instead of having uh, the players mid, we're only just gonna have one guy, Shotzi, who's going to be mid, and he's going to be watching this fast couches push 
uh, for anyone that might be hitting that on the offensive side. Then we have, I believe it's one top bed, one bottom bed, and Dan is gonna be top class here. So full on A counter. If they don't go A, what we could do is start pushing up into their spawn, maybe uh, keep someone there in case they wrap back or fully flank if we see that they are trying to make moves towards B. This is a really common play for a lot of teams. I know LAT would like to do this, Toronto would like to do this. Uh, pretty much everyone at, at a certain point would do some type of A counter like this. And it's basically just stacking your body somewhere and making sure that if they are going towards that site, you're team working. And if not, then you're team working towards the next site and just basically bullying it out uh, as a unit. So as you can see here, we don't see anything A. They're basically playing similar to that first round where they're just spreading kind of 2-2, not giving us any type of information towards the A site. Unfortunately here for Ant, he tries to look dub and he gets double teamed here. So uh, unfortunately for him, there are two guys there. If there was only one guy there, he probably gets this kill, but they do double chow this. You really don't see this too much where they're team working this double chow like this, uh, but unfortunately he does get caught out. So once again, Ant does get caught out, unfortunate for him. But what he's gonna do here is make some really good play calls while he's dead. So what he does, and as you'll hear in the comms, is he basically tells Kyler to just stay in this corner towards A. That's their main. I don't think he saw me. I saw his red diamond. I'm backing, I'm back back up. Yeah, I'm backing up as well. Who's mean, Hetty? Who's mean, Hetty? You should okay. leave Kyler here. You should leave Kyler here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching. Kyler, I'm you should lay down, middle. and they literally can't even see you. I don't think. I'm going to shift middle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to open back, I'm, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can see Kyler moving up uh, towards this A corner, and he's going to stay underneath uh, this god box here and basically play this corner prone. It's a really hard clear for the offense because a lot of times you'll just clear maybe uh, L here or maybe you'll clear uh, P4. But really, you know, this corner specifically is something that teams would just, you know, jump over or really bypass when they were trying to go plant on the site. So what he does here is basically call for Kyler to stay here, be the lone man here in case they, they do wrap back towards A. And the rest of these guys will wrap towards B to try and defend in case they go and stack the bomb site there and start planning. So fortunately for us, they don't see anything B, but they do decide to wrap back towards A uh, because they expect us to start wrapping B ourselves. And they do see us cross. I believe Nero sees us cross here with the AR. So they know that this site is kind of open, but unfortunately for them, this is a really good spot out of Kyler where he sees not one, but two guys for free, kills the bomb carrier. And within an instant, it's a 3v2 in our favor uh, with bomb down. I'm not sure if they actually know that. They probably should know that. Uh, but regardless, it is a 3v2. Kyler has the eyes towards A and we have the other two guys still at B. So this is a really good setup for us because you see Brandon watching mid. He's going to give that up for a second, but actually keep watching it from the pool heady here. So we have everything basically covered uh, for us. You know, Dan's going to even try and help him out mid and basically cheat a little bit towards B in case they do motion back towards there. Uh, but he does get that kill mid while Brandon is now shifting towards A. So as you can see here, we kind of did a little shift where Brandon take or Dan takes what Brandon was holding and Brandon is going to now shift towards A uh, to help out Kyler because they don't suspect any more people to be pushing towards B or I believe we might have known that the bomb was down. So regardless, whatever it is, 3v1, an easy round win for us with the time uh, ticking down. So on to the next one. Backing up to main or their spawn and then the other three are trying to work down. Do you admit yeah. and then like... Uh... No, I'm not, I'm I kind of want to, dude. I kind of want to try to run a main, dude. Or yeah, no, 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 like, like, yeah, like double. Yeah, I have a trophy. Yeah, yeah, I have a trophy. So you want me to kind of chill your single on it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna throw us a trophy middle. I'm gonna throw us a trophy so they can't stun it in. All right, so we're playing a little bit more mid this round, but a little bit more aggressive uh, than usual. So as you heard, Ant was gonna try and push dubs here. So what he's gonna do is have the help from both uh, Kyler and Dan in case uh, he does die and get that trade for him. But as you can see here, Boston is crossing themselves. So unfortunately, the time that they go A is not one of the times that we do an A counter, uh, but we do see them cross. So as you can see here, Brandon watching the cross, uh, big on him for doing that because otherwise we would not have been able to know that they were crossing fully and they could have already been in our base and everything would have got super mixy. Uh, from this, Ant is going to camera awakening. This is a big uh, camera gunfight and this is a really good job by Ant by, uh, doing this. Uh, what he's able to do is if you see this micro positioning right here, he jumps towards this little part of the wall where the person watching this pinch can't even actually see him. Uh, so he wastes shots and then he's able to re-jump Chow 
onto him and get a free first blood. So really good micro positioning chow uh, by Shotzi in this play. And that gives us a first a first blood. And from this, what we can do now is start team working together through mid and through their spawn. As you can see here, uh, we know that at least one crossed. I don't believe we know that the other one crossed. So we're gonna have the two subs work around the back and the two guys mid are now watching the cross, but they have to be aware of the possibility that they can full flank around. And that's exactly what uh, Dan does. He turns around at the exact right moment. Unfortunately, he doesn't win the gunfight, but uh, we know that Nero is all the way in our base. And from this, we're gonna be just taking their side because they're taking our side. So this is a common you know, rotation. You, know, you see this in search, you see this in CSGO. If they're going to be pushing towards our base, we're going to be pushing towards their base, take that space that they're giving us. So uh, as you can see, they still haven't planted the bomb. So it's technically uh, possible for them to have been wrapping this bomb B. But for Beans here, he actually chooses uh, to plant the bomb A. Uh, from this, it's a really awkward situation because we have taken their side fully. They've taken our side fully and they're just going to play inside of bed and try and play this post plant. So this is a pretty good job by them playing this post plant. Uh, unfortunately for them, I believe eight dies here. Yes, yeah, Brandon actually gets a really huge pick onto Nero. And this is probably the biggest kill just because Nero could have been that activator who may have like fully reflanked us while we were trying to kill these guys' beds. So this was a, a really important kill out of them. Because Nero died towards this mid-dub area, uh, that's going to force Kremp to try and make a play, even though he probably shouldn't. He probably should just keep playing that post plant. But Curiosity kills the cat. Brandon, instead of challenging dubs like this, uh, he's going to wrap back towards two. And number three is actually going to be the mid guy. And from this, Kremp doesn't realize that there's going to be someone so close to him mid. And that's going to be Kyler here. And Kyler is actually going to win uh, this gunfight on Kremp here. 3v1 now. We know the last guy must be playing bed because of the way it's planted. Uh, probably playing through this doorway, so we suspect this. And this is really important for us to actually teamwork this. And it's gonna try and bait the bomb out by hopping on it. Uh, unfortunately for him, uh, Kyler is not in position right away to start helping this gunfight out. He could somewhat get shots on him, but as you can see, Beans is playing behind this doorway, so he still has a little bit of protection and can see and on the bomb. So it's a really good post plant uh, position that a lot of teams would use uh, with this one door open and this one door closed. So you're covered here, uh, but this whole part of the door is open that you can see uh, the bomb plant. So unfortunately for us, Ant does die there, but this is a huge kill for Kyler here because if he dies, we'll end up losing the round. Time is ticking for us at this point. We still haven't killed Beans. So this is gonna force Brendan to start defusing at a certain point with Kyler challenging him. And we're just gonna have to rely on Kyler winning this gunfight. Fortunately, he does. He wins the gunfight, and with that, we're able to defuse the bomb and win this round. Well, I think they're gonna bank something, bro. No bullshit. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah, no, I, agree. I, think they're I think they might bank mid, bro. Might go back to the bread and butter, but like uh, diner side. It's the only way they. Like... No, listen, they're gonna bait. I think they're not going in. I think they're either going mid or diner heavy. Right, listen, listen. I'm gonna hold a 30, 30 off you beacon, okay. right? Okay. Can you wait? Can you throw wait, that? Wait, 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 what, are what are we doing? What I don't doing? have a trophy. Brandon, do uh, you have one? You should just default uh, bed, Loki, Brandon. Like you, you might, dude. You could even sign no bullshit. I don't have a trophy. Though. Actually, I don't have a trophy I'm gonna go. Yet. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm gonna go top bed and just play I like a. Yo, yeah, where do you want me to? I'm just gonna play middle pool, right? Play middle, play middle, yep. Play pool? Okay, okay. Yeah. So as you heard in the comms, we're expecting them to bang something, whether it's mid or whether it's A. So these guys are going to be playing a little bit more passive, just expecting them to chow something right away and try to play their sure gunfights to make sure that they can get a first blood off of it. So as you can see here, we have one guy B, that's going to be Kyler. Dan is going to be watching over mid from the pool heady. As you heard, Ant is going to be playing an off angle uh, in Beacon. And here, Brandon is really big because they're going A, but he's going to be playing safe top bed. And you'll see how he chows uh, this guy L. And it's a really, really good angle to take. Uh, so I'll show you what he does here. So as you can see here, they're banging fully on A. Kremp is going to be playing L here. He stuns the close push, but look how Brandon actually chows this. He's crouched knowing that Kremp could see his head if he was standing. And once he's already pushed up just a little bit, he takes the timing to stand back up, gets the free first blood on Kremp. This is a huge kill, a really nice gunfight out of Brandon. And from this, we have the first blood. Uh, we expected them to bang something, so we're expecting them to bang A here. And from this, look at the positioning that Brandon takes. So he knows that at least one other guy is gonna try and trade him. And since we know a lot of teams like to cross glass and go up these stairs, he probably even hears them at this point, Nero tries to get the trade on him, but from this, uh, Brennan is ready for it and he's gonna be trying to get this kill onto Nero. Gets the second kill, huge round out of Brandon getting those two kills alone at A. 
And from this 4v2, all we need to do is work together. You see these guys uh, towards B and Rugs are working together, two and three chow at the exact same time. Perfect team play on the other side of the map. And this is just a, a perfect round for us. We know Bomb is down. Beans is just holding his own <laughs> alone on bomb site, And it's a free a round for us at that point. I'm gonna hold this beacon actually. Wait, yeah, just, no, 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 let's just keep doing like what we've been doing, bro. Snipe to throw him yeah, off guard. Yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. play passive middle. I'm let's have a trophy. No, I have a trophy for you. Yeah, I have a trophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna find like, the TV right, and the jiggle. Right find out where they're at. Yeah, I think they're gonna hit me info to couches this round, okay? I think yeah. they're gonna do info yeah, you should to couches. Pull then after you no, 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 I'm going to. I'm going to. So you heard the game plan in the comms there. We're gonna be playing that same passive defense uh, that we played in the previous round, just because we're expecting them to be a little bit more aggressive. Because I think it's what a three rounds in a row uh, on defense that we've won, and they haven't uh, been able to muster anything on those offenses. So we're expecting them to be a little bit more aggressive here because they were playing. Uh, passive in the first two rounds and then just banging in the second two rounds So maybe they'll do something mid and Dan even calls it So look at what happens here We do the same exact thing when we did in the previous round and you know what Dan said He expected them to hit L to couches and that's exactly uh, What they do cramp makes this exact play that Dan was calling out before in the round and gets the free first blood on it So, you know, that's what some preparation and knowing what your opponent might do can really You know set teams apart because that was just the freest first blood based on just tendency that he might have thought uh, that they would have had. And you know, playing Kremp in that amateur scene, he might have known some tendencies that he was willing to do uh, in situations like this. So free first blood for us because of that play call. Uh, really good play by, by Dan calling that out. And from this, we're just still playing passive. As you see, Brandon pulled out a sniper for this round because he was playing solo. I uh, didn't want to play the same spot that he did in the previous round where he got the two kills. So he's, he's just basically uh, playing safe sniping low haul here and trying to hold A down like he did in the previous round. Uh, and we're just waiting for them to make a move because we have the first blood and we know that we can play this retake uh, together with numbers. So Nero actually tries to chow Brandon uh, down at the low halls, doesn't get anything for it. And now it's a 4v2, we got another free pick where they didn't use any teamwork. And from this, we can just collapse on the site with our numbers. We see Beans is P4, number one and number two are working it together. And number three is gonna be trying to pinch through main here. And he gets uh, the free cross on number seven. We win the game. So some really good defenses out of us throughout the entire game. You know, those first two rounds, uh, we did get first blooded. I believe it was Ant just trying to take the timing, but the second one at least was just a double chow on their end. So there was nothing really he could have done on that part. But the adjustments we made in the later rounds were really good. And the way we're positioning ourselves, especially, uh, you know, Dan in that last round and Brandon in that second to last round. And even the Ant chow towards Dub with his mic positioning over here, you know, just really good positioning out of us uh, in this map. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this SD film room breakdown. And I'll see you guys in the next one.